So, you want to start up a Velociraptor accounting school. Can't say I blame you. Schools like other nonprofits rake in tons of profits. Well, luckily it's easy to go from your boring old Velociraptor to a bawling Velociraptor. Now, as everyone knows, Velociraptors are the best accountants on the planet other than the infamous Dodo birds. But those are extinct, so we use what we got. Now, to get your accounting school started, the first thing you're going to need to do is pick the location. Location is everything, as Velociraptors are, as you know, notoriously difficult to convince to relocate for education if it isn't an Ivy League institution. So, you need to start with a location that has tons of raptors already. So where do we find raptors? Raptors are cold-blooded, which means what? That's right, that they love the cold. In fact, the colder the better, so we're going to look at some cold places around the world to find our raptors. The good news is there are plenty of well-known cold places around the world filled with raptors, such as North Korea, the Falkland Islands, and Novaya Zemlya, to name a few. But there are also some lesser-known places that are worth considering, too. Canada, the state of Alaska, and a small country called Sweden. Once you've picked your location, it's time to build your school. Luckily, commercial real estate is on the decline, so getting an old dilapidated shack is easy work. Once you've done the necessary work to make your multi-million dollar liability up to code, you're ready for business. Now, velociraptors are attracted to affordable education like a saiga antelope to moist bogs, so it won't take much advertising to get these bad boys to start trickling in. Now comes the fun part. As a nonprofit institution, we need to wring them dry to maximize our profits. We could start by weeding out the future Velocir write-offs from the Velocir Realtors. For this, I recommend employing a red-lipped batfish. This is common knowledge, but if you don't know, the red-lipped batfish was never able to rely on their looks, so they specialized in being great judges of character. The only downside is that red-lipped batfish definitely hold the cards when it comes to negotiating their salaries, so make sure to gaslight them into thinking they're an especially ugly instance and that they're going to have to take a pay cut for that. That usually works well in my experience. Now that your red-lipped batfish is hired at a less than competitive rate, we can start admitting students. First things first, we're going to have to set up the batfish's prison slash one gallon flower face at the entrance to the school so they can vet any potential students prior to them joining. The training is the easy part. Since they're velociraptors, they'll practically teach themselves. But if you need help, there's certain to be a few velociraptors in the area that will be willing to work in exchange for a tax deduction form. I hope this helped. If it did, that's great. If not, that's also great. Until next time.